Working in machine learning is always exciting because every few years, someone invents something revolutionary, like models that can play Go or create hyper-realistic faces. Today, the groundbreaking discovery that's captivating everyone's attention is the transformer, a type of neural network. Transformers are incredibly versatile models capable of tasks ranging from text translation to generating computer code. They're poised to solve complex problems in fields like biology, particularly the protein folding problem. Essentially, transformers are like a magical hammer in machine learning, seemingly able to tackle any challenge. If you're familiar with trending ML models like BERT, GPT-3, or T5, you'll know they're all based on transformers. Staying updated on transformer technology is crucial, especially for those in natural language processing. So, what exactly is a transformer? It's a type of neural network architecture optimized for various data types, including text, images, videos, and audio. While convolutional neural networks excel in image analysis, transformers addressed a crucial gap in language processing. Before transformers, recurrent neural networks, RNNs, were the primary model for textual tasks. However, RNNs faced limitations in handling large text sequences and were challenging to train efficiently. Unlike RNNs, transformers process text holistically, making them more effective in understanding and generating natural language. They represent a transformative breakthrough in machine learning, developed in 2017 by researchers at Google and the University of Toronto, initially for translation tasks. But unlike recurrent neural networks, transformers could be efficiently paralyzed, facilitating the training of significantly larger models. With the appropriate hardware, you could train models of immense size. How big? Enormous. Remember GPT-3 the model capable of writing poetry, code, and engaging in conversations? It was trained on nearly 45 terabytes of text data, covering almost the entire public web. So if there's one thing to remember about transformers, let it be this. When combined with a model that scales well and a vast data set, the results can be mind-blowing. But how do these transformers actually operate? It might seem complicated at first glance, but it's simpler than you might think. There are three main innovations that contribute to the success of this model, positional encodings, attention, and a specific type of attention known as self-attention. Let's start with positional encodings. Imagine we're translating text from English to French. Positional encodings involve assigning a numerical value to each word in a sentence based on its position. Rather than processing words sequentially, the network incorporates information about word order directly into the data. As the network is trained on extensive text data, it learns to interpret these positional encodings, thereby understanding the importance of word order. This innovation played a crucial role in making transformers easier to train compared to RNNs. Another key innovation is attention, a concept widely used in modern machine learning. In fact, the original transformer paper is titled attention is all you need let's take an example sentence from the original paper the agreement on the european economic area was signed in august 1992. now imagine translating this sentence into french one incorrect approach would be to translate each word individually however french word order can differ and gender agreement between words is also significant this is where attention comes into play. It allows the model to consider every word in the input sentence when making translation decisions, resulting in more accurate translations. Self-attention, a unique aspect of transformers, further enhances this capability. Unlike traditional attention, which focuses on aligning words between languages, self-attention aims to understand the underlying meaning of language. This automatic development of language understanding is one of the remarkable aspects of neural networks like transformers, as they analyze vast amounts of text data. In summary, while we've discussed two key innovations in transformers, positional encoding and attention, self-attention represents the true innovation, 
transforming the landscape of natural language processing. They may learn, for instance, that programmer, software engineer, and software developer are synonymous. Moreover, they may naturally grasp the rules of grammar, gender, tense, and so forth. The neural network improves its internal representation of language, enhancing its performance across various language tasks. Attention, as it turns out, proves to be a highly effective method for enabling neural networks to comprehend language. When attention is directed towards the input text itself, its efficacy becomes apparent. Consider these two sentences. Server, can I have the check? Versus, looks like I just crashed the server. The word server holds different meanings in each context, discernible through the surrounding words. Self-attention empowers neural networks to understand words in the context of their surroundings, aiding in disambiguation. For instance, when processing server in the first sentence, the model might focus on check to distinguish between a human server and a technological one. In the second sentence, attention may shift to crashed to identify server as a machine. Self-attention facilitates disambiguation, parts of speech recognition, and even word tense identification. This underscores the value of self-attention. In summary, transformers are characterized by positional encodings, attention, and self-attention. While this provides a broad overview, their practical utility is significant. One notable transformer-based model is BERT, introduced around the time I joined Google in 2018. BERT, trained on extensive text data, serves as a versatile tool for a myriad of natural language processing tasks. From text summarization to question answering, BERT's applications are diverse. It underpins Google search algorithms and numerous Google Cloud NLP tools, such as Google Cloud Natural Language. BERT also showcases the effectiveness of semi-supervised learning, demonstrating the potential of models trained on unlabeled data sourced from sources like Wikipedia or Reddit. This emerging trend in machine learning is notable. If you're intrigued by Transformers capabilities and wish to integrate them into your applications, fear not. TensorFlow Hub offers pre-trained Transformer models like BERT, readily available for download across multiple languages. Alternatively, you can explore the popular Transformers Python library developed by Hugging Face, a community favorite for training and utilizing Transformer models. And if you found this video interesting and informative, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing AI technology videos. Thank you for watching.